What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to compare the Oppo Find X2 with the OnePlus 8 Pro. So keep in mind again as I will be rotating the speaker on both of these phones and also do check out the selfie video and everything else compared side by side with each other. So for the first part here, you can see it coming from a very bright background, something to something a bit more darker, a bit darker. So you can see how well both of these phones, they handle the dynamic range. The Oppo Find X2, I do find it the selfie camera, it's a bit wider so it captures a lot more compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro. And so yeah, check out the stability on both as well. So with all of these camera tests, we have to nitpick all the phones and it's no different when it comes to the Oppo Find X2 and OnePlus 8 Pro. They do give you very good results but again we have to find some flaws here and there to make this a interesting comparison. So in broad daylight, I would say the OnePlus 8 Pro does control the old dynamic range better than the Oppo Find X2. The Oppo Find X2 does blow up those shadows on the back and the skies as well, making you lose some of those details. When it comes to color, they are very similar comparing to each other, so it's a bit hard to choose a clear winner. Cropping in into these photos, you can see that the 8 Pro actually does a little bit better with those details, but it's a very small difference compared to the Oppo Find X2. Going on to that ultra wide, I would say the OnePlus 8 Pro does a bit better thanks to its 48 megapixel ultra wide compared to the Find X2's 12 megapixel ultra wide. In general, I would say the OnePlus 8 Pro does give you warmer images compared to the Find X2 which gives you a little bit more of that cold image. But you can still see some difference comparing the main lens going on to the ultra wide. Going on to that telephoto, the OnePlus 8 Pro can go up to 3 times, whereas the Oppo Find X2 can go up to 5 times optical zoom. Both phones they do a very good job preserving those details at their respective magnification. Again, in general, I would say the 8 Pro does a bit better with those detail preservation and dynamic range. When it comes to some shots though, I find that the Oppo Find X2 does a little bit better compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro, but it's not much of a difference over here. Both phones, they do have a dedicated macro shooter and I do like the shots taken on both phones. When it comes to subject separation and details, both phones do a very good job and I'm very impressed with both of these phones. So here I'm going to show you some shots moving from the main lens to the ultra wide and telephoto. And as you can see here, the OnePlus 8 Pro does give you warmer images compared to the Find X2's colder image. And to test out, lastly, for the dynamic range, you can see here that the 8 Pro does a very good job. You can still see those clouds at the back, whereas on the Find X2, it loses a lot of those background at the back. When it comes to selfie shots, uh, it's a bit of a hit and miss on both of the phones. When it comes to details, I do like the OnePlus 8 Pro better than the Find X2. The Find X2 does tend to smoothen my skin out a lot, even though I have disabled the beauty mode. When it comes to the OnePlus 8 Pro, it does change my skin color but it does give you a little bit more details. And as you can see here, edge detection is pretty good on both phones but not very great. When it comes to subject separation and edge detection, I would say the OnePlus 8 Pro does slightly better compared to the Oppo Find X2. Against different backgrounds, I would say the 8 Pro does give you a little bit more consistent image compared to the Find X2. And as you can see here in the shot when the sun is shining on my face, I would say the 8 Pro does much better when it comes to dynamic range and details. Whereas as you can see here on the Oppo Find X2, my face is very smoothed out and if you see here on the back, the shadows and the clouds there, it's all blown out. Now let's check out some of these portrait shots and I would say that the Oppo Find X2 does brighten up the image better than the OnePlus 8 Pro. But at the same time, it does blow up those skies at the back. Cropping in into most of these photos, you can see that the subject separation and details are pretty well preserved on both phones. It's a bit softer on the OnePlus 8 Pro compared to the Oppo Find X2. One thing though that the OnePlus 8 Pro does have over the Oppo Find X2 is the ability to take portrait shots using its wide angle camera. And again, in most of these crop shots, I would say the OnePlus 8 Pro does change my skin color a little bit. But on the Oppo Find X2, my skin is over smoothened. So when it comes to video stabilization, this is one thing I'm very impressed with the OnePlus 8 Pro. And as you can see here, both phones, they do a very good job. I would say the Oppo Find X2 is a little bit more stable compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro at times. 
but in this video both of them are looking very similar all right guys so we are back here at our usual spot and i'm going to compare the oppo find x2 with the oneplus 8 pro so again i'm going to test out how well they handle the light while going through this very dark area and i would say the oneplus 8 pro is doing a little bit better compared to the find x2 you can see it's a bit brighter for now what i can see it's a bit better on the oneplus 8 pro stability you can just check out over there there is some micro jitter here and there as i walk around but colors are very similar to each other going on to the sky light at the back it is very similar the images are a little bit softer So when we go on to night shots, I would say this is not the best feature on both of these phones. They did improve their software over the years, but it's still a step down compared if you're using the Huawei phones. But overall though, I would say both phones, they do give you very similar results. Sometimes the OnePlus 8 Pro does win, sometimes the Oppo Find X2 does take a lead compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro. The Oppo Find X2 tends to give you a little bit more brighter image but it does lose a little bit more details compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro which does the opposite. So that is it guys, do let me know in the comments down below which phones you prefer and which phones you are currently using. I am overall very impressed with both of these phones but if I were to choose a clear winner, I would say maybe the OnePlus 8 Pro is an overall winner. But that is my opinion, do let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, be nice over there as well. So if you want to follow me for more of these future updates, do follow me on my socials on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube. If you have enjoyed this video, click the like and subscribe button down below, it really helps a lot with the channel. This is Dr. Hamstag, stay safe, take care and wash those hands.